Hey everyone, welcome to our kitchen. I'm here today with my husband and chef, Patrick Lemieux. We want to show you one of our tried and true recipes that we've been doing for over eight years now. We're on the eight year anniversary. Wow, like today is the eighth? Well, something May. Wow, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, yeah, we started making this because I went to a race in Japan in 2013 and I got food poisoning and Pat was kind of like, okay, well let's start to cook all the meals in our hotel room. So we started um, with this just aroma. Um, it's a six cup rice maker. Um, and we just traveled with this everywhere, made oatmeal in it in the morning. And then we also made this rice dish, which is basically the same dish. It's evolved a little bit over the years, but it's pretty much the same, wouldn't you say, the past eight years? It's really just rice and vegetables rice and vegetables and you, know, you might we'll give it like a little bit of lemon cilantro avocado to kind of pop it with a bunch of flavor at the end yeah and i have tried making this and i had to travel a little bit this past year on my own and i've tried making it on my own and it never turns out perfectly so um pat's going to kind of run the show here and hopefully teach me for the next time when i do have to travel on my own but we're actually going to make it tonight in this aroma rice and grain multi-cooker um, which has a ton of options. You, it actually has like an oatmeal button, which is great. Um, soup, risotto, eggs, everything. But we're actually just going to use the white rice today. Um, and Pat, you can, I think, take it away with that. Perfect. So I think, let's switch spots, Gwen. I'm going to have you hand me some ingredients. So let's, let's start with the rice first. And now, my favorite part about this, this meal is that we can, one, have it at home Saturday night here. It's uh, perfect for my long run tomorrow. We can do a long, it's perfect for a long run tomorrow. But also, this is really easy to do in a hotel room. Yes. It takes very little cutting, very little prep work. Uh, this could also be done, van life is all the rage. It's not, we're not doing van life, but if you are a van lifer, this would be perfect for you. Um, for your kitchen's under renovation. Yeah, so it's a, it's a really, I mean, this is a truly a one pot meal, so very easy. Um, Another, I guess the one other thing I want yeah. to talk about is when we travel to the races, um, well, where'd our little cutting board go? Well, we, when we, when we travel to a race, like all we bring is the rice cooker. Um, I don't know what these are called, spatulas, but we like, paddle, this, yep, these are paddle, our favorite yeah. kitchen tool. Like I use this for oatmeal, everything. Um, even if I'm not using a rice cooker, but yeah, we'll travel with the rice cooker, the utensils that come with it. And then, um, a knife or we'll ask the hotel to borrow a knife and then we'll travel with it's like a mini um cutting board yeah yeah i mean but it's as simple as is your the what you need for this yeah there's the cutting board that we use but it really i mean i could wrap a towel around this with a rubber band and bring throw this in a suitcase and away you go so we've got an even smaller in a check bag in a check bag um we could do that uh and then the other little hotel tip that i would give is that I have many times I go to the hotel restaurant and I'll get, you know, plates and cutlery to bring back up to our room. But so let's, I'm going to have you hand me some ingredients right here. Um, and I'll just kind of show everyone how I Now what this. kind of rice is this, Patrick? Uh, this is, uh, this is just a short grain cow rose rice. This is the same thing that you'd be using for sushi. I, whether it's long grain jasmine, I just go back to like, I want cow rose grain. Yeah. It just tastes the best. I love the texture of it once it's cooked. Um, so whether we're doing Asian, it could be Mexican, I always just feel like this This is my favorite. So we get a 50 pound bag, <laughs> lasts us a couple months, and we're um, I'm pulling from this all the time. You've got a massive run tomorrow, so I'm going to do three cups of rice. And you'll see here for the sake of the audience, for those watching, and then for, for you, if you can follow, you know, <laughs> For the next time you have to cook, uh, what we'll do here is we're going to go three cups of dry rice. Okay. Now this is for you and I, but you're hungry. Yeah. And then I'll show you in the sink where we fill that too. You'll follow the water lines inside the pot itself. All right, so now we're going to head over to the sink. Okay. I've got three cups of dry rice in here. And inside here, you can see the corresponding markings. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the water to the number three line in there. Yep. So, and then now this also serves, we're going to be rinsing our rice a little bit. Um, I like to just do, you know, one solid rinse of it. Kind of get rid of all the... Yeah, just the extra starch yeah. on the rice. Yep. And I'll just go like this. And then what I'll do here, dump, dump all that excess water out. And then I'll just fill a little bit. And we'll keep an eye here and we're up to the three line internally and this is ready to go.
Perfect. While we're here, let's just talk about what we've got. So tonight, for you and I, we're hungry. You're hungry. <laughs> You've got a big long run tomorrow. I've got, we're, and we're going to detail all the amounts um, as it pops up, but I've got some... In the description. Un and, yep. Or, yeah. I've got some diced onion here. I've got half a diced onion, and I'm just going to throw this right in. So this is what I kind of love. Um, there's also a steamer that we're going to put some vegetables in, but we do put some of the vegetables just right into the rice. So we put the onions right into the rice. Um, what else are you doing? Mushrooms or Yep. Peppers now I'm going to go not? into the steamer. Okay. So what about the peppers? Pepper. Well, I'll show you. We're going to layer those in. So we're going to go it's mushrooms. Learning for, experience. Yep. So now we're going to put this in. And Gwen, why don't you? So, so now I've got the steam. I'm going to put the steam tray in, and then Gwen, can you hand me the mushrooms? Is there? Does it have to go in this order? You think? Um. Probably. Right? Probably. The ones that yeah. Be yeah. The most. And the mushrooms I want cooked the most. So, so you put those on the bottom. Yep. Yep. And again, I just did like four or five mushrooms sliced. And then maybe. And let's um, go. I want to go asparagus. You want to go? Really? You think? Yeah. I think peppers need to be cooked more. But well, okay. we can argue about that later. I love asparagus in this meal. I don't know why. Another really easy one to do in a hotel room um, is just spinach. Um, because you don't have to chop it and it yep. wilts up and it's a lot so of vegetables. So now I've got some pepper here. Peppers. And then all we have left, but we're going to add this at the end, is tomatoes and cilantro and yep. lemons. Oh boy. But we'll wait till the end. Cool. Um, come on in and I'm going to start this up. Okay, so go ahead and show us how to start it. First you got to turn it on. Then we're cooking white rice tonight. Easy as that. Easy as that. And this right here will, um, it'll remain like this for a while and then when there's like a couple minutes left, it will let us know um, how many minutes to go. So now we wait. So while the rice and veggies are cooking, we're just gonna do um, a little more prep. We always like to add lemon at the end. Um, so Pat is probably going to use his lemon squeezer tonight, or what do you call this? The juicer. juicer. To get the lemon juice out, but and when we're in a hotel room, we don't travel with that. We just squeeze it on top at the end. I'm always asking for more lemon. Um, we're going to cut an avocado, and then I always like to add some eggs at the end just into the rice, and it'll just, the heat from the rice cooks it. Um, but that's something just to get a little protein in before the race. Now this, um, this meal as well, like as a, as well as not getting food poisoning, we also like to cook in the hotel room because I can get the same portions that I'm used to at home. I'm having the same meals that I'm used to. I'm what's that? Anything? What are some other benefits, Pat? Well, I would say really the biggest thing is is that you know at restaurants there's way more oil, way more dairy. It's just it's all about control in this scenario. So what we're trying to do is limit variables. So Gwen talked about the portion size. She talked about she knows exactly what's going into the meal. Um, that's, the, the, that's the biggest thing. The other thing is I'm just off my feet. Like right. a lot of times you go to a race and everyone's going to the one pasta or pizza or whatever the place is and there's a long wait, you're sitting down, you're not, you know, for me, I get to sit in the hotel room while Pat yeah, you're watching. It. You're watching TV this whole time. Feet are up or I'm reading a book, yeah. whatever yeah. it is, and it's yeah. super relaxing. So, I would say the other... Do you want to do the avocado? Yeah, lemons? sure. The other great thing about this meal is, is we could, what we could do here, we could, with the eggs, we could add a little liquid amino, give it a little bit more stir fry, or what we could do, pull the eggs, and then we could go salsa, make it a little bit more Mexican yep. is a version that we've done. You can do it with eggs. We can do that with eggs as well. Yeah. Um, then there's also another version where you could pull the cilantro, pull the avocado, and make go mar sauce. marinara yep. would be another version. Um, the other thing, the other hack that I've done all over the world is I might call up a restaurant and say, I just need two or three chicken breasts to go. Yeah. Or I want a steak to go, yep. and then pull that. So like if we want to... so. I would have somebody else cook the meat, um, you know, in a, in a way of like, you can find at a grocery store, there's a lot of times uh, in the deli counter, there's already pre-cooked chicken breasts. You can get those, chop those up, throw those in. So that's, a, that's something that we've done. Um, one of my favorite stories around that was when we were in Japan and I was looking all over for chicken breasts to go. The biggest issue that we were having. They don't do to go. They don't do takeout. 
it's so like unsanitary. They there, it's a whole yeah. it's a whole problem. So I was at we had to get uh, chicken breasts from a TJI Fridays that let me do takeaway <laughs> in Japan. So that was that was one way. So we should have just done eggs that night. Probably we should have done, we should have done eggs that night. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So I've got these avocados sitting on the side. Again, what we're really looking for tonight, it's like lemon, avocado, cilantro, salt. It just gives such a pop of flavor to the rice and the vegetables that are being steamed. Um, the eggs are going to add some creaminess. So, you know, for being an at-home meal, we're going to go one pot. I really, I really like what we're going to do here. I love it. Like I said, we've been doing the same thing for eight years, so, yeah. And I'm going to just start with the juice of one lemon. Really? I think you know I love I, Yeah, that. but I'm going, to, I'm going to save that because what we've got going on with the eggs here is that's going to add yeah. quite a bit of water, quite a bit of uh, liquid. So it's going to, the rice is going to absorb yeah. that quick. And then I'm going to keep the lemon really fresh for the end. Okay, we've got three minutes left on the rice and grain multi cooker. Um, We've got four eggs in here. I think Gwen got a little ambitious. I'm going to put in what I call two to three eggs. Let that finish in there and then we'll and then we'll be eating very soon. So, so it'll cook in the last two minutes. Yeah. When you open this up, it's going to be hot. There's going to be steam that rolls out. So just be careful. But you can see here now the vegetables have been cooking beautifully. They're going to be perfect. Like that feels that feels great. And I'm just going to grab this uh, the steam tray out. And I might even just be done with that for right now. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just roll some, some eggs in. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to take my rice paddle and I'm just going to stir that in. And you can already see uh, right in here, the, the, the eggs are already cooking. So you can see when I flip that over there, the eggs are already starting to go. So now imagine you're just in your hotel room, You've been watching TV this last 25 minutes while this is cooking and you're about ready to just dive into this. So, okay, here we go. We're going to finish the rest of the eggs. We're going to do all four eggs tonight. Wow, I was yeah, right. It was okay. It's okay. So we're going to finish that up. I'm going to leave that open for a second. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to toss in these tomatoes. And then another really common one that I would do, um, if you were going to do some sort of spinach, Put the spinach in now, stir it in, and then let it finish out its time. So, I've got four eggs, I threw the tomatoes in, the onions are cooked, the rice is looking awesome. Um, and Pat, can you, I always love with the rice cooker in general, um, even if this is like, even if we just did rice, when it's done cooking, make sure you stir it um, to fluff it and then close it up and let it sit for another couple minutes. Don't you think, Pat, that that's really right. like makes the rice, yep. I don't know, fluffy or something? Just, just, yeah. So now that's our timer telling us that we're done. Um, but you can let it sit in there. Let it sit now. You could let this sit for, it. yeah, you could let this sit for 30 more minutes if you wanted. If, you know, if Gwen, if you were doing something. That's the other really nice thing about this aroma rice cooker is it has a delay timer. Yeah, so like in the old days, you would go, if you were doing triathlon, you could do a swim, a bike, a run. We could go do that activity, set the timer two hours in advance, go do what we had to do, press conference, etc., and then we'd be back, come home, right. this would be done, Bugs, yeah. and we could go straight into eating. So now what we're going to do, there was a, again, there's a little controversy over the one juice of one lemon, juice of two lemons. We're still sitting with one, but now I'm going to go in and finish it. So I've got... A little bit of lemon. Uh, then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just hit this with the paddle one more time. Oh, now this is just looking. Come get a come get a look in here. I mean, pre race, pre long run tomorrow, Gwen. Yeah. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. So now I'm gonna plate this up. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. You're and not gonna stir the other veggies in first. Oh, you want me to do that? Well, that's what we normally do. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna just take this whole piece right here other veggies all in. So now I've got mushroom, asparagus, pepper, rice, tomato. This is a this is getting to be quite a big meal. The nice thing is is this rice cooker is so big. Uh, Gwen's gonna eat like two people tonight so we need to have a lot of food for her to be fueled up for that long run tomorrow. 
So now I'm going to serve her up. She's going to make sure that she always gets a lot of veggies, so I gotta, I'm going to be dig for all the vegetables right now. <laughs> That's exactly it. That off. And then go ahead. Here's going to be the best part because you're going to sweat a ton tomorrow. Salt. Finishing salt. You know, and I actually, I started to travel with salt in a little baggie because you don't want to like be wasteful and buy a whole salt. So a lot of times I'll just, you know, put some salt in a uh, reusable plastic bag and bring that along for rice. Well, Thanks, honey. Voila. I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Um, if you guys try this out, let us know what you think. Try it in a hotel room or somewhere where you don't have a kitchen and it's super easy, one pot. And let us know what you think. Yeah, DM if you've got questions, hit us in the comments. Let us know how it uh, how it went and, and how your version turned out.